Okay guys, today we're taking a look at one of the most important ecosystems on our planet, our oceans. Simply put, they are in danger and a matter of national security. Tom Hansen sat down with the Secretary of State John Kerry, who is making it his mission to swim into new territory. Over the weekend, there was a meeting of the minds in Washington, D.C. Leaders from around 90 countries, celebrities, innovators, and young people came together on one of the biggest issues facing the world today. From turning the ocean's trash into artistic treasure... This is Seymour the sea lion pup, and he's all made of garbage from the beaches, all hand-stitched. To tracking volunteer efforts through crowdsourcing, to collecting data through drones. With this drone, we're flying through the blow of the whale, right? The spout of the whale, and that is essentially snot. You're getting your scientific data from a whale sneeze. That is correct, that is absolutely correct. Everyone had their own ideas on how to monitor and improve the health of the seven seas. We're here at the third annual Our Oceans Conference in Washington, D.C. It's geared at solving the problems facing our ocean and it's put on by the State Department. Now you may be wondering what the State Department has to do with ocean health. Well, we did too. So we sat down with the U.S. Secretary of State, John Kerry, to find out. Why does the State Department care about ocean health? Because the State Department is responsible for relationships with every country in the world, and because we are always trying to proactively get ahead of issues of consequence in terms of security, health, starvation, refugees, all of the global issues about climate change, and they're all engaged with, dependent on, affected by the oceans. And the oceans are threatened. And the result of the oceans being threatened as a result of climate change, pollution, overfishing, all of these things are combining to put this vast mass of ocean at risk. And if the ecosystem fails, then we will feel the consequences of that in so many different ways. That's why the State Department cares. A toxic combo of warming water temps, overfishing, and trash are poisoning marine habitats, and many of them, simply put, are dying. In other words, while it may not seem like it, the health of our ocean impacts our national security a lot. So it would be a matter of uh, potential uh, human catastrophes such as we haven't seen, and we will have to deal with that. As an average person, taking a look at the amount of pollution in our ocean, it can be overwhelming. That is. Where do we even start? We start in your own practices at home. I mean, you know, all the kids listening have an ability to affect their parents. Go home and tell them, hey, mom, dad, you shouldn't be using plastic bags when you go to the supermarket. Use your own bag. You know, have one that you reuse or get a paper bag that at least is recyclable. But many countries don't have a good way to get rid of their plastic trash. And that's where the State Department comes in to get those countries to change. According to a 2015 report, five countries in Asia and Southeast Asia put more plastic trash into the ocean than all the other countries in the world combined. Most of that trash collects in massive clumps called gyres. There are five in the ocean right now, made of tiny bits of plastic and driftwood. How do you go about cleaning up our oceans while simultaneously cutting down on our reliance on plastic? Well, it's very difficult to, to, quote, clean it up once it's broken down in these tiny pieces. And what happens is marine mammals, birds, uh, fish wind up ingesting it. it Works its way up the food chain. Way, exactly, up the food chain. And, and that's dangerous. But the key is to get it before it's broken down and to prevent it from going in. And that doesn't even come close to the hundreds of thousands of pounds that are in our ocean today. But even with these alarming stats, Secretary Kerry has hope that things can change. When you talk about the topic of ocean health, there's a lot of gloom and doom. Are you optimistic that we can restore the health of our oceans? Yes, I really believe we can. Well, I'll give you an example. Last year, there was an international cleanup day and 800,000 young people went out and cleaned up the beaches in various places. And I've, I've seen in the last couple of days in the Our Ocean Conference here in Washington, a tremendous commitment to doing exactly that. That's what we need. But he also says it takes commitment from the average citizen too. And he's looking to young people, like the ones at this conference, to change the tides and save our oceans from disaster. Tom Hansen, Channel One News.